Hi everyone and thank you for joining me. Today we are going to make this 3D printed Zelda Guardian from Zelda Breath of the Wild and we are going to control it with Arduino. Well, since I'm a big fan of the Zelda series and after watching some similar videos of this project I decided to make my own version of it. First, we will have to print all the required pieces. I will put the links for the STL files in the video description down below. For the painting job, we decided on something very simple. Now, for the electronics components we will use an ultrasonic sensor, a small servo, a 5mm RGB LED, three 220 ohm resistors and an Arduino Uno. The mechanical assembly is very straightforward, but be careful when assembling the small parts of the legs. As you can see, they can break very easily. Remember to stay until the end of the video to see the final result. The next step is to assemble the servo. I recommend to make some previous holes on the plastic to guide the screws. So, my main idea for this project is to move the head of the Guardian when something approaches to him. For this, I will use an ultrasonic sensor. Also, I want to put some red light when this happens, this is why I'm using an RGB LED. You will find a link of the necessary components, the electronic diagram and the Arduino Uno program in the video description. I recommend you to always test the program and the connections on a breadboard before assembly. This will help you to understand better the code, assure that everything works fine and if you wish, change some values. Also, you can use an Arduino Micro and a battery to keep this project compact. This project is perfect to practice some Arduino coding. If you want to learn how to program Arduino, I recommend you to visit the channel of Programming Electronics Academy. The electronic part is also very easy. The only preparation I had to make were to solder three resistors to the LED. At the end of each cable, I install some terminals to ease the connections. The next step is to put the LED in place. At this time, I think that it was not a good idea to first install the servo motor. When installing the base for the motor, check that the servo can move freely. Sometimes, I had some problems moving the servo. So, finally, we need to install the missing details for our Guardian and we are good to go. I hope that you liked the video. My objective with this was to share a small project that you can do easily to practice your coding. Here is the final result. And before you go, please consider subscribing. My name is Carlos and see you next time.